Hello YouTube, everybody out there, happy Friday, finding it very hard to uh, film videos, at least with no background noise, right? But we try to make do, uh, so me and the first mate just wanted to uh, chat a little bit on this Friday, beautiful weather, weather, bright and sunny, a uh, little housekeeping, I'm smoking my Molina. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Mar is it Marlino? Marlina. Marlina, Molina? Yeah, okay. That I won from the NJ Piper Ben. Um, in it, I got a little, I don't know, I did like a 50 50 mix of uh, experimental. I just, whatever, just threw it together. Um, three peas, Peterson's three peas, and I think what I had won from Ben, uh, I think it was. Samuel Gowitz, uh, Virginia Flake, or something like that, or, what, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, just smoking that. Hopefully it doesn't make me sick, because the three P's is just way too strong. I don't care, I can put a pinch in there. <laughs> it's just not for me. My system does not like it. I'm half tempted, I got a little bit of the plug left. I don't know, if I can't, like I said, that's why I'm trying to mix it with other stuff to see what, how my system takes it. If not, I might just have to toss it. Whatever it is, what it is, right? You know, you live and learn. Uh, I just finished this. Uh, we had, well, I finished this about a week ago. Uh, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, the cult classic. Uh, basically, it's the script of the film, the movie to a T. It's just like watching the movie, but reading it in book form. It's my second go at it. So I figured for the month of October, this was my Halloween read. Um, and let me just tell you, reading this, okay, and thinking about, because George, you know, his films always were a social commentary for uh, our society and what we're going through. Either it be racism or uh, whatever else. Uh, so, and well, for Dawn, Dawn of the Dead's, uh, thank you, <clears throat> Dawn of the Dead's, uh, social commentary from George is basically, uh, our society with consumerism and how we have to always buy and always, you know, in an apocalyptic situation, what do we do? We loot, we do all these bad things instead of just worrying about having to survive. And think about that, I've read an article, I don't, I won't be able to put the link I don't know where I found it on Google. You know, it just popped up for the during the month of you know October for Halloween and talking about that, this exact thing. And the article was actually talking about how you can relate everything that happened in the movie, you know, Dawn of the Dead. In the, but instead of being the zombie apocalypse, it's our pandemic right now. Look at it. Look what happened there. What every everybody did when we locked down, and we're about to probably get locked down again. I don't know about. Who knows? But I know the UK and you guys over in Europe and everything, you're all locked down again. So think about it, what are, they, what are everybody doing? They're running out to the stores and buying up all this crazy stuff, toilet paper and unessential things. They're just like ransacking. So, and so what did happen in the, in the premise? If you guys never seen the movie or read the book, please do. I mean, but what did they do in the film? They, they got in a helicopter, instead of flying to Canada, they were flying out to the wilderness and living off the land and getting away from people and getting away from all the zombies. Their eyes saw a shopping mall, and they fortified it, killed all the zombies in it, and stole all the goods in there. And then, what was the downfall of the characters? Steve, the helicopter pilot, gave his life up for stuff. He, you know, what? What he, you know, when the looters, a bunch of looters, came to the place, doing the exact same thing, looting the place for for for, for stuff. And just stupid stuff, TVs and stuff. It's the end of the world, and they're they're stealing rings and and coats and things like that. Why? Because of the consumerism. Because we're so brainwashed. And what did the zombies do? All the zombies were uh, drawn to the mall. Why? Because of something from in the gray matter of what was left of their brain that we want that telling them they wanted to be there. Why? For the stuff that's inside. So it really was an interesting article, and looking at this and what we're going through now, it's 
really, really interesting. And to think, you know, it really makes you take a step back and think, like, you know, and, really, you know, you're going to go run out to the store and buy up all this stuff. Stuff that, that you don't even need for what you, what we need for. It. You know? Paper towel and toilet paper. Really? Get a rag. If it came down to it, really? Just live off the land. Go grab some leaves. What did they do back in the freaking before before any of this stuff was invented? I mean, you know, it's just when you really sit back and laugh, it's just laughable. Um, but yeah, just that article just really shined the light on that the whole thing and the premise of the film. So yeah, I just want to bring that up. I mean, that was just you know it was something on my mind and kind of like you know really what we're going through now and you know good bad or indifferent whoever we vote for and things like that i you know another article that you know really that i read about all that i mean it's just yeah it's it, you have a love hate it doesn't matter about who you want to run the country for the job you know you're not looking at who'd be better most people or a certain set of people just you have all the Hollywood and all those set of people that just hate Trump. So because they hate him, they want him out. So they'll vote for the vote for the devil. Basically, if Satan himself was fire and brimstone was sitting at the pulpit, because they hate, well, they'll vote for him because they just want the guy out. That's the way I see it. But I don't want to get into that. On my channel, but um, I just find that interesting. That's what you have. You have people that love them, people that hate them, people that are down the middle, you know. But that's what you have, right? It wasn't it wasn't an election of uh, policies or anything like that. It was a, a love love hate election. So the people that love them are going to vote for them. The people that hate them just going to vote against them and not even don't even like that guy prior pri per se or what he's doing. I mean, th and think about it. You have your local government, which is pretty much a tyranny right now here in Jersey with these lockdowns and all these different things. And, you know, I'm pretty much done with it. I want life to go back, but, you know, I get it. I get it. It's out there and all that stuff. And people are going to get sick, but I take it with a more lax uh, approach of Survival of the fittest then. If, if, my, if I get it and it's my time to go and my 40 year old body can't take it, then that's it, right? God's gonna call me back. Isn't that the way it always is every day anyway? So, so cheers guys. A little, little deep thinking here as I choo choo my pipe on this beautiful Friday. We've got Craig too later. We're gonna have a campfire. I mean, the first make will light up the cigars. I'm off today from work. Teacher's convention, so. Don't, didn't have to go in today, thank goodness. The last two days, nobody was in either. And I, I was just, you know, we were just body, bodies in the building, you know? So, till we do it again, my friends. Enjoy your Friday. Just a, some food for thought. Really touches home these, 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 these uh, issues, you know. Do a like, subscribe, share. Hey, let's get this channel growing again. Every once in a while, I get a couple subs. So thanks to everybody that's new that's come here to my channel. Oh, my sign dropped. So wind's picking up. So we do it again, my friends. Remember, let's set sail.